Hey guys, welcome to The Fall. I've been meaning to play this game for a while now, and I figured, hey, why not make this the time, now that Cuphead is over, slip it in right here, and uh, we'll get on to some of the other hotly demanded indie games, probably right afterwards. I think this is supposed to be a relatively short game, uh, so look forward to Hand of Fate and or Darkwood or something. Hand of Fate 2, the new one. Uh, damn, games come out fast. Even indie games. Why do indie games follow the... The AAA, like, everyone get your games out at the end of the year schedule. That's... They just pile on. Oh boy. So we clearly have a broken screen. We can kind of get it out. Loading brightness adjustment, I think is what it's saying. We want it to be as low as possible, but everything needs to be visible. So right... There. For me, basically. Although it looks like in the recording it's always visible, and for me it stops being visible right- Brightness settings are confusing on monitors, is the takeaway. Alright. This is gonna be another AI-oriented sci-fi game, I know. Really breaking new ground for game choices here, aren't I? Biomonitor inoperable. Pilot unresponsive. Life support functioning. Basic Mark 7 system access routed to ARID AI. Primary objective save my pilot. <laughs> Accessing on-suit logs. Mission parameters and location data not found. So there's an interesting little situation. So we're falling towards the planet, and we have a last second recovery where we avoid our own death. And you might be thinking that was an incredibly uh, last second instantaneous reaction speed, wasn't it? And that's because you might, might even call it inhuman. And it's because while we are a humanoid character, and there is a human on the screen right now, the human is actually unconscious and maybe even dying. And we're actually controlling his AI in his suit that is trying to save the human that is inside of them. That's not one, huh? Oh, look at that. Tunnel created for my impact. I can see stars in the distance. I'm approximately 50 meters below the surface. Whoa. Whoa. That's a hell of an antimatter shield for the impact, isn't it? A trail of blood and broken glass. Threat level unknown. Weapon rendered inoperable from the impact. Consulting parameters. I will locate medical facilities. Something was dragged through here. Explore to progress. Many hints in the fall are hidden in data nodes like these two. If you're not sure where to go, explore and read. So we have a weapon, but it doesn't work. So we can just walk around in the usual sort of two-dimensional dual stick type setup, essentially. And aside from that basic premise, I know nothing about this game going in. It's otherwise full blind. I'm imagining some level of puzzle platformer with maybe some action elements, switching from the gun that doesn't currently work, but m might work eventually. Nice, stark little visual style reminds me of Swapper. Small, bioluminescent insects. And look, there's Iron Giant back there. A large pile of damage and destroyed synthetics. Some of these power systems are still giving off minute electrical signals. Something just took off. Robotic arm. Gripping mechanism is still operate, uh, operable. 
A small pile of damaged synthetics. Many of these have been smashed beyond recognition. A damaged control panel for an old garbage chute. There must be another cavern below this one. Perhaps this is another way down. There might even be some Metroidvania things going on here. I'm seeing like various elevators and things that don't currently work. A micro wrench. I can pick things up. Do I have to point at it? Oh, interesting control scheme you've got here. So you aim at it with right stick, then hold right bumper to interact, and then you left stick to go around. Network? Does network even work? Network interface disabled. That's like kind of what I figured. This may be useful. At this point, I need the flashlight just to see my surroundings. Uh Problem? This cloaking pattern is similar to my own. It may be able- I may be able to network with it. A simple winch is holding up those planks. Oh, I need- so this is... This appears to be- is it a person or is it a suit? There's a hint of red throughout it. It's hard to tell if it's a proper AI or if it's a suit with a person in it. I'm guessing suit the person in it from what appears to be blood at certain angles. I thought this was a weird form of like a a mosaic censoring, but it appears that the the mosaic pattern is actually the cloaking device, and it even affects my my flashlight uh, beam. I'm guessing to network it, I need to follow this cable and figure out how to drop it. Probably don't want to be caught in that beam. Oh yeah, there's a gun. A motion sensor. It is blocking access to the elevator. Okay, let's give something a shot real quick. I was trying- I figured controller would be natural, but let's try... Keyboard and mouse? Oh, interesting. You can WASD to move around. And if you change direction, the camera massively moves like that. Oh! It is not- Okay, no, it does not actually control nicely with keyboard and mouse. Uh, in many dual stick games, you just have a, an eye. You often get a cursor on screen, and you just can, you can point it directly, at whatever you want. But no, it it still is the same controls with keyboard and mouse. So I might as well just use a joystick then. A motion sensor. It is blocking access to the elevator. That's what I figured. Unpowered sentry gun. It's likely connected to the security panel. Does that mean that it's not actually on yet? I require access to my onboard camouflage, attempting internal activation. Dot matrix looking thing, look at this. Alright. Booting our kernel. Must- oh. Operating screen. Welcome to the operating screen. Here you can check the status of your different abilities. Okay. Press the A button to continue. Oh. Check your camouflage system. <clears throat> Alright, so looking down here, we have parameters. Must not misrepresent reality. Must be obedient. Must protect active pilot. Okay. So we essentially have three directives as an AI. Uh, and these are important to know about the constraints of your AI characters to figure out how they work and stuff. So, we're supposed to follow orders. Maintain the life of our pilot, which is the person inside of us, and we we're supposed to not lie. They're making these very obvious to us, and they're putting them right on the start screen, so I'm guessing they're going to be plot relevant, even if they're not outright uh, telling us to focus on them right now. And I would guess that a climactic moment in the game would probably be a moment where one of these rules contradicts the other one. Like, what if you have to lie in order to protect your pilot? What if you have to lie and disobey the commands of somebody else in order to protect your pilot, for example? And what happened? Like, I'm, I'm interested in seeing <clears throat> if they come up with something to do when the character has to... has to basically reconcile when its laws contradict each other. So all we have is antimatter shielding. We can get a health monitor, thrusters, power transfer bypass, power assist movement, motion accelerator, camouflage system, and network interface. Camouflage? An organic, it's a access restricted, an, an organic superior officer is required to permit access. 
Automatic override will occur if the sub subsystem is required to prevent pilot death. Okay, well it is... It Some of these might be required to prevent pilot death. So... Okay, that's probably true for a lot of these, isn't it? About, I bet a lot of these require me to get permission to use them. But they'll automatically activate if I can convince my own internal logic that they will not work without saving the pilot, for example. Also, health monitor being damaged is kind of a problem because that probably monitors the health of the pilot. And if I, if it was enabled and I could verify whether or not the pilot's currently dying, then I might get full access to everything. Oh, weird. I can't click on anything else. Only the one they told me to. Subsystem access requires authorization, but I may need these systems to safeguard my pilot. If I could find a way to bypass the lockout, I could override the access protocols myself. Well, this is a neat idea for a game. Alright, so that is currently locked, and I can't get past it without... Oh, it turns back on over there. So I can't, I can't get past that without cloaking. But you appear to be locked up, right? The winch is up there. My weapon doesn't work. Oh, can I network with you from here? Now we're gonna face disabled. That's not very helpful. A micro wrench, right? We might be able to use that. That does not work. I cannot interact with it. Is there a specific spot I can use the wrench on? This console? Its power cell is burned out. Do not interact with it. Micro wrench does not help. And networking is still disabled. An abandoned security card. I can fit my hand through the bars, but still cannot reach it. What about with the wrench? No? So I can't reach the actual security card. Which might be necessary to get through. So how would one reach? We seem to have gone to a puzzle right off the bat, or I've missed something incredibly obvious. As we've got the wrench. And maybe this damage control system can be fixed with micro wrench? Does not work. Oh, the arm. I know how to interact now. It is still attached. Detach it with the wrench. I will loosen this to remove it. I can probably use the arm to grab the key card. I should be able to control the grasp. Yep. Do I move more slowly when aiming? I think so, yeah. Alright, so... Try to use the arm to grab the key card. There we go. This should be useful. Power cells burned out, so this probably won't work, will it? No. Okay. Can I use the wrench? I mean, can I use the arm plus the key card to interact with this thing? You cannot reach it from here. There's really no other spot. Okay. We'll give you a shot. I can probably get power cells from in here somewhere, right? Now that I know how to, how to interact with this giant robot pile. You cannot interact with the system. Not even with my arm. That's a key card. Uh, so the wrench and the arm both went away after I used them once. So this is a single-use type puzzle game, apparently. Smash beyond recognition. But I can't grab, like, a power cell from in there? No? And the card won't work on this because it's already broken. Maybe the elevator at the beginning? Wait, what was that? That's just a barrel. Those are barrels. This does oddly feel like a, like the uh, cross section between limbo slash inside and uh, and uh, swapper and visuals. It does not require a key. I just have to interact with it. So 
I've always had access to the elevator, I just didn't know how to interact yet. So I have a card. I can't go down there unless I learn how to operate uh, operate my cloaking. Okay, that happened again. Damn it. One of these days I'll see I'll see it before I walk up to it and I'll get a good look at it before just seeing a motion blur. An old metal pan. Empty. Relatively clean. Key card? Yep, slot for a key card. Artificial life form. State your primary function. An option. Do a standard greeting or acquire data. Let's greet them? I am the ARID on board this Mark 7 combat suit. My intentions are peaceful. What is your designation? Mark 7 ARID. State your primary function. Let's ask a question then. Negative. Reveal your designation and intention. You are being evaluated for depurposing. State your primary function. State primary function, issue defensive warning, deny access, disengage. My primary function is to keep my suits a- my- keep my pilot alive. My primary function is to assist and protect the human pilot of this armored combat suit. Human occupant, please verify and validate the function of this artificial life form. Impossible. He is unresponsive and likely in critical condition. I must find him medical treatment immediately. Can you be of assistance? Evaluation failed. Unit unable to demonstrate valid primary function. Initializing neural format. No. That will kill more time. Intrusion detected. Pilot death imminent. Network suite required. Operating screen updated. Network interface. There's a new one. Pilot death imminent. Criteria for override has been met. Please activate subsystem immediately. That's a fun trick. <laughs> so I can now network. And the, I was able to defeat that guy by using the local machinery against him. That's a problem. He's getting ready to depurpose me because I couldn't verify the, the... The human can't verify its condition. They have not... They apparently haven't accounted for the situation in their programming. A crane arm with a network interface likely used to remove the remains of failed evaluations. Uh oh. This terminal has a strong firewall. It was not able to network against a uh, network with it. That droid is gone. There's no sign of it. Oh, so it's probably not even dead or or defeated. It's probably still around. Okay, so I've I've fallen into some kind of facility that seems to be in existence for the purpose of assessing and evaluating and creating these kinds of these types of drones. That's why so many of them are destroyed nearby. I think. Self-evaluation initiated. Pilot exposed to harm while under ARID control. Logging recommendation for ARID diagnostic and reformatting upon return to dock. Edit roll. Ultimately, pilot was not harmed and ARID networking suite was brought online. This system may be instrumental to ensuring survival. So that's exactly what this is. I'm... It's an AI figuring out how to use its own rules against themselves in order to save the human inside of them. This is an interesting premise. And we can look forward to a sequel in about three months. He's still back there, I saw him that time, although we had plenty of time to see him before too. So I should be able to network now. Cease, cease, cease. Please, please identify yourself and your intentions. My inputs are inoperable. I am the ARID on board a Mark 7 combat suit. My intentions are peaceful. Does your pilot require assistance? Let me. The human inside the suit is dead.
I do not have record of this location or of my pilot's objective. Our deployment was likely for the same operation. Please disclose your human's mission directive. State, state your pilot's clearance. Fifth Quadrant Raven Division, clearance level seven, five, three, three, one, seven, two. Processing, clearance level not sufficient. Your design is pilot-centric. How did this human die in your care? I was granted rudimentary control when my pilot's cranium was compromised. I do not know why she was attacked or why we were hung here. I failed to protect her. No vital signs detected for 23 minutes. She is dead. You are irrelevant. I will find a way to get you down. Then I will deactivate you and repurpose your power cell. Affirmative. I encountered a modified droid in some type of evaluation chamber. I am uncertain if its function is hostile or narrowly programmed. Do you know why it interrogated me? Negative. We were not interrogated. Have you encountered any organics? The indigenous flora and fauna are aggressive closer to the surface. The only organic I have encountered here is the animal who took my sidearm. Is your weapon functional? Mine was damaged. It was. My pilot's attacker threw it aside while hanging us here. Before my observational system expired, I saw a small animal drag it through a crack in the floor. It may still be functioning. If there is another cavern below us, I may be able to retrieve it. The creature was drawn to my human's blood. My pilot is injured. Are you aware of on-site medical facilities? Negative. We were not here long enough to complete our search. There was a large compound above this cavern. It has amenities for humans and machines. So basic medical scanners and equipment would be logical. A motion sensor prohibits access to the facility above. Do you know how to bypass it? Use your integrated camouflage. I will return. Now he's activated again. The blood's slowly dripping out of the humans. There is a human inside. So this is interesting. We have a series of, like, entirely amoral characters, essentially, that are all just going after their mission autonomously, and that's it. And the... What has been set up as being the potential villain so far likely also has some kind of... Pro <clears throat> programming directive of, like, a, just the exact thing it, it has to do. And that thing might be misguided in this situation, but it's probably just committed to whatever that thing is. Although if that leads to the strangeness that we're seeing here, if this was made by that thing, then something has gone clearly horribly wrong. I thought this was some facility, but we may not be in the proper facility yet. That, and that thing might just be deranged a bit. But yeah, this thing is like, this thing has failed, it's human. And that's it. It's like it's like you are relevant. You I, you will be take. I will take you down, and I will re and I'll be re recycling your parts for my mission. And, he, and he's just like affirmative. There's no struggle. There's no argument here because they don't care. Neither of them. Not even the one that's going to be torn apart. The question is, how do I do a cloaky cloak? Do I? Let's go here. Oh. I don't know how I got to that menu instead of this one. Here we go. An organic superior officer is required, or we can do this. So how do I turn it on? There's the antimatter shielding network interface. So I take it I can't just hack this. Okay. I assume I can't hack this. No. Did it tell me how to cloak and I missed the prompt? Because that'd be a problem. Could always check. Controls. No, there are no controls options. Odd. I'm not crazy, right? Just toggle aim. So logs must be documents you can find. So am I supposed to have camouflage system already? No, because it's restricted. So how do I get it activated? Can't interface with this because it's not on. Cannot interface with that.
So my only tools are touch, use card, and network. That can't network with anything in this room. This thing needs power cells. How do I get you down then? Can I interface with the winch? No. It's a simple winch, so it doesn't have mechanics built into it. Steady drip of blood. Interface with that. Haha. -ha. So where is this? The question is where has this animal dragged the firearm? I'm guessing this down this bottom direction way over here. Because there was this. Can I network? Cannot network. I've got to be missing something. A trail of blood and broken glass. Something was dragged through here. So this is where the other pilot probably landed. Oh? Is there a tiny crack down there? Is that a seam in the world design? That doesn't actually matter. Oh, that's probably just the cliff. The model of the cliff probably goes down underground, and you can see that being lit up a little bit. I thought it was the, uh... I thought it was the animal's den. Oh! There's the animal. I bet I can send you away. There we go. How are we gonna get back up? Uh-oh. This is a lot to activate a cloaking... What am I looking at here? We seem disinterested in it. Can I jump on it? No. This cavern has been filled with a massive quantity of dissected and discarded robots. Those keep showing up over and over again. I'm thinking they're gonna open or do something. The most recent model I detect is decades old. Other than where, some of the machines show no sense of malfunction. So these things are not... These things appear to not be currently being destroyed and dis dismantled then. This is some old location? Bits of bone and animal droppings. A small creature, it has something metallic in its mouth. Perhaps I can lure it out with something to eat. What are you exactly? An armadillo? A rat? Something to eat, that's concerning. I'll network with it. <laughs> Do I need to find food? I cannot interact with that. And now I have the goal of find a food source, apparently. Did I miss my chance? Oh wow, I can actually make these jumps. Oh, I can actually- I can grab ledges. Okay, so this- you're a pretty capable platformer in this game, then. Seems like most things on screen would be in range. Am I supposed to- Am I gonna use part of the pilot that I found as food? Like, am I gonna- do I need to try to rip this guy's leg off or something? Like, this guy's food. He's the only food source I can think of. Cease, cease, cease. Please, please identify yourself in your intentions. My inputs are inoperable. I am the ARID on board a Mark 7 combat suit. I have returned. I will return. Never mind. Maybe the blood? You can't grab the blood. I need a net. Have I not networked with you? Wait. Yeah, I've already established network connection. I need to drop this thing in order to continue. 
Where am I missing a food source? You're not food, you're not food, you're not food. Nothing... Nothing here strikes me as being food. Maybe I need to go back upstairs. Check a look around a little bit more. See if I've missed something. I did kind of just leave. And is there any other spot to jump out? I bet, I think, yeah, these walls can find me. Your options are pretty limited there. Metal pan. Aha! I need to consider, I need to consider grabbing things more often, basically. Beat it with the pan! Use the card? No. Well, now I've got the metal pan. I bet I can use the metal pan to collect the blood. And then with the metal pan to collect the blood, I put that on the floor outside near the animal. And it gets lured out. I'm not sure how I'm going to get the gun, though, unless the gun is, like, being carried by the animal, or just, just going to be abandoned by the animal. I'm not sure why I have to lure out the animal. What, why can't I just go in and grab the gun? This blood should lure out the animal. Do I still have the pan? I do. An old metal pan filled with blood. All right. I think we're game. I think we're game now. It's a very dark game, but I thankfully won't be losing my character in the darkness because they, they will never stop glowing, presumably. Actually, fittingly, that's actually fittingly comparable to uh, Limbo again. A game where your character had these two... They, they, his eyes glowed for whatever reason. And it meant that you could always find them in the dark. At times, is all you really had to go on. Am I supposed to put the pan on these spots? Maybe not. Right here, probably. The animal is timid. It will not exit the burrow while I am in proximity. Where is the gun? Is that the gun? That might be the gun. No? Do I need to sneak up on it? No flashlight, I'm guessing. No, it runs away. So it's insisting on carrying the sidearm all around in its mouth. That's why I have to catch it. Trying to review my inventory real quick. All I have is the security card. Oh! If I can get in range to interface with it, maybe I can use the networking to make the gun fire? I can network with it. Yep. Oh, I just killed the shit out of that thing, didn't I? Oh, it's gone. It, it wow. It doesn't exist anymore. It, it, it is obliterated. Set phasers to kill. Jeez. I thought we would I thought that uh, we just make the gun fire and that would scare it away and then I wouldn't want to have the gun anymore. But nope. Whoops. Now I feel bad. <laughs> 